it when it's market into mobile or into mobile for our friends at the Great White in the Great White North. And today we're taking a look at iOS 4.3 for the iPhone and iPad. Uh, Apple released iOS 4.3 today, so if you haven't downloaded it yet, you can go ahead and do so. You just connect your iPhone or your iPad to iTunes, and um, it should notify you that you have an update ready. If not, you can click Check for Updates, and it should it should be there ready for you to download and install. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in here. When you go into settings, the first thing you'll notice is location services. That little bar wasn't there before, and when you click on it, the first thing you'll notice is that you now have the option to turn location services on or off for all your individual apps, or you can turn them off across the board with, uh, with that switch up top. And another new feature is in Messages. Prior to this update, you could only get a second notification for a message if you missed it the first time. And, you know, sometimes you could be out and about in a loud place or you just don't feel your, your, your phone in your pocket and you'd miss the first or the second message. So, you know, you could, you could have been missing pretty important, important messages. Now you'll have the option to set it three times, five times, or ten times. Probably the biggest feature in this update would be the personal hotspot which lets you connect up to five devices onto the iPhone. So in order to en enable that, you go into General, Network, and you'll see Personal Hotspot down here, Set Up Personal Hotspot. If you don't already have this set up on your phone, um, if you click Personal Hotspot, it'll prompt you to either call AT&T or go to their website to enable Personal Hotspot for your particular account. So it's not free. But um, I don't have it enabled here because prior to this update, my my iPhone was jailbroken and I was using my Y to tether my phone. Now, before the update, there was a rumor that said um, only three devices would be able to connect uh, via Wi-Fi to the iPhone in order to use the mobile hotspot capabilities. Now, in iTunes, it says you can connect up to five, and that's a combination of three over Wi-Fi, two via Bluetooth, and one via USB. So, it's a fine way to kill your battery unless you're on USB and it's charging your phone while, while you have all these other devices connected. So I'm not exactly sure that you can connect five devices over Wi-Fi. I think three is the max, which gives that uh, pr prior rumor some, some weight, but you can connect up to five devices. So that's... Uh, that's that's probably the biggest feature here, at least for most people. Um, when I did the update, there was a bar right underneath location services that was uh, appeared and disappeared very briefly, and I'm guessing that might have been the control for the personal hotspot. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I don't plan on activating the personal hotspot for this device, so unfortunately we won't be able to take a look at that. Uh, another new feature is the ability to share your videos from your camera album um, to a TV, you, you'll need Apple's AV connector in order to do so, but now you have um, HD video out. So if you, want, if you have friends and family over and you want to share some videos you've taken on your phone, you could do that straight from the camera album and just connect it right to your, right to your TV. Other than that, there aren't a whole lot of new new features or, or changes. There are some bug fixes and performance enhancements, especially in Safari. Uh, Apple says it has uh, some JavaScript enhancements that should improve for performance, but I've been fiddling around with it and I, I really haven't noticed anything yet, so uh, perhaps it's a little more stable, maybe it'll crash less, but overall I really haven't noticed anything, anything new. Are you getting enough sleep? No, I am not. So it, it performs pretty much the, the way I remember it prior to this update. I don't use the browser a whole lot. But uh, if, you're, if you're a much heavier Safari user on the iPhone, then perhaps you'll notice, uh, you'll notice the difference. So that's, that's really about it in terms of, in terms of uh, the first things you'll notice in this update. Uh, there are a number of, of other things like AirPlay and 
and uh, the HD video that I can't show you today because I don't have the uh, system to do so. So that's that for the iPhone. For the iPad, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. For the iPad, one of the sorry, one of the biggest features probably is aside from what we saw on um, on the iPhone. I hope you guys could see this. I've, I've I've got my camera mounted on a tripod. Is the mute switch on the side? That was the the, the switch here was changed into a mute switch after iOS 4.2 and a whole bunch of users got really pissed off and were saying, you know, give us our lock switch back because the lock switch was switched over here just like just like it was on um, on the iPhone. So if you wanted to lock or unlock your device, you you had to tap this in order to do so and I guess maybe double tapping your home button and doing that was far too much of an inconvenience for us. So Right here you'll see use side switch for mute or lock rotation. So now if you click lock rotation and you hit the side switch, you'll see the uh you'll see the lock button come on and off there. I really don't care. I mean, it it wasn't that big of a deal. You'll also notice the location services button here. So just like the iPhone, move the camera You'll be able to turn location services on and off and individually or all across the board. So yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, this is just a very, very quick tour of iOS 4.3. For those of you who have jailbroken or unlocked devices, I would, uh, I would steer clear of this update until a jailbreak for iOS 4.3 and an unlock is released. But if that doesn't concern you, then by all means go ahead and uh, go ahead and update your your devices. Again, this is Mark for n2mobile.com and we hope you've enjoyed this very very quick tour of iOS 4.3.